this little icebreaker. I often start my training classes with this icebreaker. What I want you to do is very simply add a single line to that to transform it into a six. And let's take a look at that. I want everybody to think about it. We're just going to take about 45 seconds for you guys to take a look at that and I believe somebody is going to see a solution. So let me tell you where this came from. I was on a plane one time flying to New York. This was at least 10, 15 years ago. And I swear to you, I always pick that one unlucky seat on the flight where I'm sitting next to that one crazy person who wants to tell me their whole life story. They want to know my whole life story. And literally, this guy was going on and on and on. And then he said, well, you know, you sound really smart. I think I just graduated from Georgia Tech at the time. You sound really smart. Well, you know, why don't you figure this out? And he literally wrote this on a napkin and said, you know, one line, how do you do this? I was stumped. I looked at it. All I could see was Roman numerals. Did anybody else see it as Roman numerals? Any a few other people? Let me show you what I actually came up with. Again, my background was math and engineering. I saw it as Roman numerals. So for me, my solution, what I did was I made a line going straight across, and then I folded it and turned it upside down so it's a VI. So it's a Roman numeral six. <clears throat> but that's not really the best answer. Oh. Somebody over here tell me, what's the right answer? Add an S. Add an S. How many people saw the S? And some of us are still saying, what do you mean, add an S? If you add an S to the front of it, it's S-I-X, which is six. And then a third solution, if you add a six on the end, one times six is also six. So, very, very interesting. Now, what did we learn from that? What's the learning point there? <clears throat> exactly. Think outside the box. You know, one of my favorite sayings is, if you do what you've always done, you're going to get what you always got. Okay? And we know that, but for some reason, we're creatures of habit. We just tend to do things the same way, but we expect a different result.